Hey guys, my name is Tati Music and welcome to Weekly Beats and Music Promotions Season 2. You a legend. In this video, I am going to teach you guys how to make smooth modern pop beats. So, the first thing that you need to know if it's your first time uh, making these beats or it's your first time trying out these beats, the first thing that I like to do back then, uh, it was uh, referencing. What is referencing? Referencing is going out there, finding a song of that particular genre that uh, you want to do, a song that is already out there, a song that is popular, but remember, it must be a song that is on that particular genre you want to reference. So you're going to take that song and put it on your dome and try to do something much similar to that song. Not exactly like that song. Remember, referencing is about hitting that particular target, but we are not copying the whole thing. We are not trying to copy other producers here. We are trying to remain as authentic as we can. So I'm going to go to my first story right now and make uh, this particular beat. So guys, I'm not going to do much of referencing in this video because I have done it before. I know how it is done and I know how I will make this beat. So I'm not going to do any referencing, but I'm going to highlight referencing in the process of making this beat that I'm making. I hope that you're going to learn something. So let's make it. So I'm in my FS Studio right now. It's FS Studio 20. My BPM is 150. The, the plugin that I'm going to use is actually from FS Studio. It's called Rhodes. I don't know if it's a plugin or what, but it's from FL Studio, guys. It's free. So if you want it, just select Pet Instruments Keyboards. Here it is, Rhodes. So I've already made a melody. Uh, it is just as raw as it came from FL Studio. This is how the melody sound. smooth guys so we are going to mix these types of melody as you can see i just have a preset uh, this is fs studio Master band compressor and then i have fab filter pro q3 and fruity reverb a simple mixing of this melody i've just took out some high end and some low end i like to um, to include more fl studio plugins so that you can learn so this is how it sounds with these mixing plugins. Now, going to copy it on pattern two on stage grand. Also stage grand guys is, is from FL Studio. This is how it sounds in stage grand without without mixing or without mixes. Mm, I love it, I love it. In fact, I'm going to make this pattern number one and then make this pattern number two. I'm going to make this stage grand the main melody. Since I've changed my mind in making this uh, the main melody, I've turned down the voluming of my Rhodes keyboard. And then, together, they should sound like this. Uh, I hope you are vibing to, to this melody. By the way, this is the song that I'm referencing. I'm not going to play this song. I'm not going to play this song because of copyright issues. So the next thing that I want to put here is a guitar melody. I'm just going to use a guitar from Iron X. I'm going to try to make a melody. I have made a guitar melody, this, 
this guitar melody, this thing is messing up with the CPU. As you can see, it is, it is really messing up with my CPU. So I've put on Guitar Rig 6. I don't know why it says Guitar Rig 5, because it's Guitar Rig 6. This Guitar Rig 6. So you, as you can see, it's Guitar Rig 6, not Guitar Rig 5. I don't know why it says Guitar Rig 5. It's Guitar Rig 6. This is before Guitar Rig 6. Okay, and then after Guitar Rig 6. So guys, because I have a computer with a super super low CPU, so I decided to render this, this guitar melody. I've rendered it to this wave. So this is how it sounds with Guitar Rig 6. As you can see so smooth so realistic so now i am going to add a pad and bass lines and, and and so on okay i found the pad yeah and this is how they all sound like without the guitar This is how it sounds like with the guitar. Just gonna put it on 60 percent I, I might change the guitar later but for now i just like the way it is so the next thing that i need to do now is adding a bass bass line it's a bass from purity it's number two from the top it's too muddy let's up it again control up arrow it's wonderful so i have made another pattern of my guitar from iron x uh, this is how it sounds like raw Okay, I've made it. Uh, it sounds like that. This is how it sounds like after uh, with Guitar X6 and other mixing plugins. Very, very, very powerful. This plugin is very powerful. So, guys, I want this beat to have that feature sound like on the chorus. So I am just going to make something uh, that, that would be different on the chorus than on the verse. So I have just made a basic kick here. Very, very, very basic.
Hey guys, are you looking for nice breasted earrings, necklaces and rings at high quality and affordable price? Sky Castle Jewel brings you that. They craft luxury and affordable jewelry made out of high quality stainless steel and 18k gold plating. You can use my code or link to buy everything on their site at 20% off every time you shop with them. They offer free shipping, return and exchanges and much much more. You can check them out on their website at skycastlejewel.com. Now back to studio. And we are back. We need to put some transitions here. We will also need uh, to put some more drums because as much as I want to do this by the book, I also want uh, to add a little bit of my own uh, style or touch into this beat to, to prove that I am also a producer and I am also authentic or unique on my own style. So now... Okay, this is the drum pattern. Simple, guys. Um, I ended up changing the pattern to this. Nothing big, just some fruity reverb, fruity stereo shape. And then here I have a fruity balance. I am going to right click it and then create automation clip. I've already created my automation clip and then just cut it here. Uh, the most simple way to have some spacing between your kick and your chords. Everyone has fruity balance, so it's the easiest way of making some space between your chords and your kicks. So guys, I am done. I have to say, this one was very fun to make. It got me out of my comfort zone. So I really enjoyed making it. And I hope you also enjoyed it and learned something without wasting your time. So I'm going to just play it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Or to subscribe, like, and comment.
forget to follow me on my social media handles. Uh, they are listed down below. Until next time. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in. If you want this amazing beat, make sure to hit me up on my email down the description below. And I will surely get back to you with the price. See you next time.